Hello everyone. So in last lecture, uh, we were studying about what UE does uh, on switching it on in an LT network. So we have read cell search, cell selection. So next topic is RATCH procedure. But before uh, I study this topic, I would like to tell you about MIM and SID. which UE will decode uh, before cell selection. So we'll cover these two things in this topic. So MIB stands for master information log and SIB stands for system information log. Okay. So let me tell you first on which channel e -node B broadcast these information to UE. So there is a broadcast control channel BCCH then broadcast control channel and this is broadcast channel and this is PBCH that is physical broadcast channel and there is DLSCH channel that is downlink shared channel and there is PDSCH channel okay this is your logical channel this is your transport channel this is your physical channel other channels we will cover in another lecture Okay, so MIB is transmitted over these uh, channels. Actually, these are mapped to each other. These are downlink channels. Okay, so MIB is transmitted on these channels. Whereas, if you see the mapping of SIB, SIB is transmitted over this channel. So, at physical layer, you will see only these channels. That on PDSH, SIB is transmitting. On PBSH. Uh, MIB is transmitting. So let's study these MIB and SIB in little detail. Okay. So suppose this is our E node B and this is our UE. So E node B is uh, transmitting MIB to UE. It's not transmitting exactly, we should say broadcasting. Okay. So MIB carries three things that is bandwidth. This what bandwidth uh, your E node B is using, using, whether it is a five megahertz, ten megahertz, fifteen, and so on. And system frame number that is the name, uh, that is the number of your system frame. And the third one is PHICH configuration. This is an important channel uh, which UE needs. Its configuration is required at UE, so uh, its configuration is transmitted uh, via MIB. Uh, this also will cover in lecture where I'll explain you about channels So this is the MIB only. Okay. Now let's come to SIB uh, Just a second uh, One more thing I want to tell you about MIB about its TTI This is transit time interval its TTI is 40 millisecond Transit time interval means after how much time uh, a new MIB is uh, transmitted. So what does it mean? Let me explain you via frames. Okay. So this is your one frame. This is uh, just a second. In LT, we know that frame is of one frame is of uh, 10 millisecond okay and each frame has tens of frames in it okay these are 10 these are also 10 this is frame number one this is frame number two this is frame number three this is frame number four and remember always MIB is transmitted at subframe number uh, at first subframe okay here so this is of 10 millisecond this is of 10 millisecond this is also 10 millisecond and this is also 10 millisecond so here MIB will present okay the same MIB will, MIB will again come in second subframe also but uh, in first subframe of second subframe Again, the same MIB will be transmitted in first subframe of third frame. 
and again same MIB will be transmitted in first subframe of fourth frame okay now when this uh, when this fifth subframe will come okay so so when this fifth subframe will come so here a new MIB will be transmitted okay so after 10 10 10 10 that is 40 milliseconds a new MIB will be transmitted in fifth subframe sorry in fifth frame you can say but remember always MIB is transmitted at first subframe of each frame at first subframe of each LT frame you can say here like here 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 okay so that's all with MIB so now let me start with SIB okay so this is our UE this is E node B so SIB is transmitted so most of the means if you read it in Google so you can see PDSCH is mentioned over there as I told you that SIB is transmitted via BCCH, DLSCH, then PDSCH. So that is why they are uh, mentioning PDSCH over there. Okay, so now uh, we will read SIs that is, sorry, IEs of SIB1. IEs, I think you all know about IEs, that is information elements. So SIB carries very important details. So let me tell you one by one. Uh, first is cell selection information. The second one is cell search information. Okay. And the third one is information about other cells you can say. we have number of SIPs in LD network okay so cell selection information means, uh, like uh, PLMN ID and uh, your tracking area code that you know be is using cell ID and also it carries uh, bad status you can say bad status of cell whether it's bad or not okay cell search information sorry guys it's not cell selection information it's cell access information okay and it's not cell search information it's cell selection information okay so cell selection IEs are Q, R, X, Lev, Min. This is the minimum RSRP required to UE to uh, attach to a, to an LT cell. And P max. This is the maximum power that UE will use uh, to communicate with E node B. Okay. And information of, about SIPs, other SIPs means uh, it will tell the scheduling information scheduling info of other of other SIBs okay and uh, it will also tell the periodicity of other SIBs other SIBs one thing I would like to tell you uh, that uh, the TTI of SIB1 is of 80 millisecond okay and uh, the other SIPs, they don't have fixed uh, periodicity. So this periodicity of other SIPs means other than SIP1, okay, other than SIP1 uh, is also uh, configured by or uh, informed by SIP1, okay. So now I'm going to tell you about what how TTI works here for um, uh, means for SIB1 that is 18 millisecond 
so here I have uh, I have write down means uh, I have made I have made eight subframes. You can say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So uh, in each means uh, sib one is transmitted at fifth subframe. Okay, this is the fifth subframe. Fifth subframe of first frame, and within means. Uh, you can say means after 80 milliseconds you can say as tti is 80 millisecond after 80 milliseconds because this is 10 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 so till here till eighth frame means after 80 millisecond a new sib one will be transmitted it's like uh, we studied about mib okay but in this duration of 80 millisecond the same sib one is repeated but the but this repetition of sib one will have uh, means gap of twenty millisecond like this means alternative means uh, in alternate subframes in alternate frames of fifth subframe these sib one will be transmitted so you can say after twenty millisecond same sib one is transmitted again after twenty millisecond okay but once it completes it a cycle of 80 millisecond a new sib one will be transmitted now i'll tell you about sib two guys one thing you can uh, uh, note down that mib sib one and sib two these are mandatory means you have to decode them at means uh, these are mandatory information you can say means every time you have to decode these three informations and other uh, sips are means uh, are optional you can say means it depend what kind of configuration you have in your network so sip 2 what what it carries let me tell you like means like other ues like other sips it is transmitted on pdsch sib2 and the i that it carries um, is, I'm, I'm telling you the important i is only so it carries one most important thing that is pratch configuration this is used uh, at the time of random access procedure means uh, UE decode this information and only then uh, RASH can be uh, used by UE. So this we will study in detail uh, while studying random access procedure and uh, along with this UE also carries information about paging like paging occasion, paging frame these details i'll also explain another lecture about paging okay if you want to read it now you can google these two terms paging occasion paging frame okay so this is sib2 now oh, there are a lot of sips in our lt network so like sib3 sib4 sib5 sib6 Sip seven, sip eight, sip nine, and so on. So these are the sips. Okay. So guys, one thing uh, you can, I would like to tell you that uh, sips handle the mobility also. When UE is in idle mode. And it is moving from uh, one tracking area to another tracking area. Okay, suppose TA one to TA two. Then this mobility is handled by SIBs. Okay, and when UE is in connected mode, we call this cell deselection. You can say cell deselection. And when UE is in connected mode, means some call is ongoing and ue is moving from tracking area one to tracking area two then this mobility is handled by handovers 
handovers x2 s1 we'll cover handovers in another lecture and re reconfiguration rrc connection reconfiguration message is used here rrc connection reconfig it's very useful message in lt network so in idle mode that is cell reselection that is mobility of mobility of ue in idle mode is handled by sips and mobility of uh, ue in connected mode is handled by reconfiguration and that procedure is handover so here we have to focus on cell reselection okay so let me tell you <coughs> all the sips one by one so sip 3 carries uh, cell reselection info cell reselection info of neighboring cells you can say neighboring cells which is common which is common um for which is common for intra rat inter rat and uh, that is ah, just a second guys it's better to tell you about what kind of cell selection we have cell re selection means before reading these steps it's better to get info about type of cell re selection okay so these are intra frequency you can say intra lt frequency cell re selection the another one is inter lt frequency okay and the third one is inter rat frequency cell re selection so these three types of cell re selection we have in lt network inter lt frequency inter lt frequency and inter rat frequency inter rat where the units your technology will be changed means if uh, ue is moving from in if ue is in idle mode and it's moving from tracking area to location area you can say means if ue is moving from 4g network to 2g or 3g then this kind of reselection is known as inter rat frequency cell reselection okay and if <coughs> if ue is moving in an lt network suppose ue is attached to frequency f1 it is of lt frequency and it is moving to an e node b or you can say in under the in another tracking area which also have same frequency uh, sorry which all which have different frequency that is f2 and that is known as in uh, inter lt frequency cell re selection and suppose uh, ue is latched to frequency f1 and it's moving to another tracking area where e node b has same frequency then this is known as intra lt frequency guys remember that no call is uh, ongoing with ue it is in idle mode only okay means it's not in connected mode okay so guys sip 3 carries uh, the ies which are required for all these three in this procedure okay means it carries the common ies which you will require to continue with these three uh, procedures now come to sip 4 sip 4 carries the uh, so sip 4 carries the uh neighbor cell information for intra frequency cell reselection 
and uh, sib5 carries the uh, neighbor cell information for inter lt frequency cell d selection okay and sib6 carries the um, neighbor cell information for inter rat cell d selection but this will be for 3g cells only okay and sib7 carries the neighbor cell information uh, for inter rat again but this these neighbors will be of 2g technology and uh, sib8 carries the neighbor cell information and uh, it carries the uh, information of cdma neighbors only okay and sib9 carries the information about home in node b that is small cells this information of a small cell is carried by sib9 for cell reselection and there are few more sib you can say sib 10 and 11 here etws that is earthquake and tsunami warnings are uh, informed to you in. okay so you might get little confused let me explain you using a figure suppose a ue is attached to this e node b1 and this e node b has a inter frequency neighbor you can say e node b2 inter frequency means if it is transmitting at frequency 1 e node b will also carries means transmit at frequency f2 now ue is in idle mode and if it is moving from here to here so what this e node b this e node b will starts transmitting sib 3 plus sib 4 uh, because sib 3 carries the ins common information required to ue for cell reselection okay and sib 4 also carries all the i's uh sib 4 carries the information of this inter frequency neighbor to this ue for cell reselection now oh, guys again if suppose ue is attached to this e node b1 it is transmitting at f1 and ue is moving to this e node b2 which is transmitting at frequency l2 these are lt frequency means e node b2 is uh, inter inter uh, sorry 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 guys this should be f1 means these are intra frequency neighbors and these frequencies are different it means these are inter frequency neighbors okay so if ue is moving from here to here in idle mode condition then this will transmit sip 3 sip 3 will come everywhere okay sip 3 along with sip 5 as i have already told you that sip 5 will carry the neighboring information means all the information which ue needs to reselect this cell will be carried by sip 5 i think this makes uh, things very clear okay now take another example e node b1 It's transmitting at frequency one. U is attached to this U E uh, to this E node B, and U E is moving to moving towards this three G cell. Okay, this is three G cell which is transmitting at suppose at three frequency. So this E node B one will transmit sib three, or it's it will be everywhere. along with sib 6 uh, and this sib 6 will carry all the information about this neighbor and it will be transmitted to ue which will be helpful to ue to reselect this 3 sir so guys this is all about mib and sib and we'll read ratch after this lecture
Okay, thank you.